Now, let's pick concert um, C major. And what I'd like you to do is do some things where you're tuning the notes. I want you to tune all the notes of the scale into the tonic. So play this tonic first. No, no, you're, you're going to change pitch. We're going to do oh, this. Oh, okay. We're relating all the pitches to C. Yeah. That has to be a first and a foremost, even if my piano is on. In your mind, feel like you're going back and forth, but actually just work your way up the scale slowly and always tuning to this imaginary reference point. Sometimes I don't hear all the sounds of a scale relating together into some sort of mm -hmm. family yeah. <laughs> relationship. I'm going to play a chord. You don't look at the piano. Find a chord and play the root third and fifth of it. We'll start with it every morning. Okay, hear the piano more than the horn. Rides the Steinway, that may be sharper than the Baldwin. Okay. I would like, here, do, do that again and listen to the echo that comes back at you after you finish the third note. Mm -hmm. They're all there now, right? Yeah. Can they all be there from the start? Yeah. Okay. Try that one again. Yes. That is a very important difference for you. Yeah. Okay, let's try B minor here, the B minor, and listen to the echo back at the end. It's not, they're not all no. quite there. That may have been some, the third was a little off. There's a difference when you play three different notes and when you play three notes and you already hear that they're going to 
agglutinize mm -hmm. into it. But mm -hmm. Let's start back where we started, but this time go fifth, third root, and we're going to go down. Here's the seven chord. Mm -hmm. Listen to it and make it clear from the first note that it's all there. That was a chord. That yeah. wasn't separate notes. That was a chord. And now, here's another way at it. Pretend you're going. Did you hear me subtly bring out this note, that note? Mm -hmm. but each time I brought out, I played all three notes each time. In your mind, as you're playing this, can you, in your imagination, hear yourself going on to those two, even though you're holding the first one? And when you play the second one, hear yourself playing the others. Each time, hear yourself go from one to the other, even though you're holding only one. But while you're holding the fifth, so while you're playing the fifth, hold the fifth, but imagine that you're playing. Don't actually change. all the time. Alright, that's good. Alright, uh, let's do a little uh, you play one note and okay. I'll play chords. And if you can, once you've tuned into the chord, tell me if you think you're playing the root third, fifth, seventh, or an inharmonic tone with it. Okay. You pick the note. Um, let's do concert D. Aha. Let's go back and forth between those two and see that if in your tone alone, which is after all the same tone, mm -hmm. you can express the entire difference between major and minor. So express major to me. Express minor to me. Of course. There is a larger entity than you. If you restrict your existence to you blowing into that little hole and going and trying to finger a certain note, right. you've cramped yourself down into yeah. a tiny box. Right. And then you magnify that box so it becomes all important and right. every little thing about it is can be, you know, no good. You are all these sounds, Alicia. Right. If you take all those sounds into you, and only a part of you has to do with the top of the fifth. Yes. Yes.
all of that was you, yeah. not just that. Mm -hmm. You're a much larger entity than somebody playing a note on a horn. Yeah. All right, let's continue, if you don't mind doing a couple sure. more of these. What note should we do now? The same note. Oh, okay. You've only been a root in the fifth so far. Well, it's true. <laughs> You've got third and seventh to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> change more rapidly with me. But it's not a change in the horn. It's right. not a change in the amateur. The change is all occurring out here, yeah. not there. Yeah. Just go with it. sound was fine. Really? Yeah, because you achieved with it the most important thing, which is you conveyed the entire mood of the chord in your one sound. Your sound somehow, it's like the white light through the prism. I look at your sound and I see the whole chord. The bigger entity. And yeah. that is not a small accomplishment for most horn players. Yeah. All right, let's get you on the, the uh, we'll put you on the seventh, seventh. song. Try going from one to the other. Mm -hmm. 